Hello one and all and welcome to another episode of The One Motorhome. Now this is the channel where we try to find the perfect layout, the perfect design and basically the perfect motorhome for you. Uh, my name's Jonathan and I'm going to be showing you around this vehicle today. It's made by a luxury brand from Germany. This one's a Katago C-Compact line I141LE. Now it's less than 6.7 metres. It's around 2.1 metres in width so it's perfect for the European roads yet it's got all the luxury and class that you'd want from your touring vehicle. Uh, we'll start off on the outside, have a good look around then we'll go inside and see where the magic happens but follow me around and let's have a look. So starting off on the front of the motorhome you can see that you've got this really large size windscreen. Now this is perfect for seeing, I mean you've got a brilliant view from this, in fact you can see an object on the floor when it's only around a metre and a half away from you. It comes with these lovely alloy wheels and it's got gorgeous graphics going all the way around it. Obviously we've got a habitation light above the habitation door there and a huge Tule canopy. Just down there is where you plug into your electricity, so just in here. And at the back we've got a huge garage, so let's have a look in there. Right, so just open this door up so we can have a proper look. Look at this, absolutely monstrous, huge. Um, you can fit nice bikes in there, blow up canoes, all that sort of stuff. Uh, you've got nice tie down points as well and we've even got some bungee cord on the side for attaching items to it. Um, but really large size garage and as you can imagine, you can fit plenty in there. At the rear of the van, We've got obviously the nice Katago C Compact Line badge with a reversing camera up on the top there and the special kind of branded um, lights on the back which are shaped in the C, so they're like Katago. Now this is a super lightweight van, so it's three and a half ton chassis so you can drive it on any license, which is brilliant. And just in here, this is where you store your gas bottles. Now this is quite clever actually. You can pull this out, let me see if I can show you. Pull that out like that. And then you put your two gas bottles onto here so they're really easy to access and obviously easy to change over. But then that just slides back into there. Moving around a little bit further, this is where you fill up your fresh water. And this one is where your toilet cassette lives. It's even got a SOG system on that, so if you want to have a look online and see what a SOG system is, it basically stops the toilet from smelling. Right, so that was a quick tour of the outside, but let's go inside. Um, just to point out, this one has got a fly screen on the habitation door, so that will stop the bugs from getting inside when you're out and about. And also, I, when you go into the vehicle to gain entrance, there's a little button on the side here. I'll just move the camera down. You just press that. Whoop. And out comes your electric step, in goes your step, but very, very sleek. Right, as you walk through the habitation door, you're straight into the living area. You've got this really nice lounge area where you can sit one, two, three, four, five, perhaps even six people all the way around the table. It's a really nice space, actually. Um, you can just kind of pitch yourself all sat around playing cards, having a nice drink. Um, Moving forward into the cab area, just quickly, just to show you. Uh, it's got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. It's got the new digital dash on this. And obviously it's got the nine speed automatic gearbox as well. But the cab is very, very slick, I have to say. It's got blinds all the way around the front here. So we've got blinds for privacy all the way around. Um, so you're not gonna have to have the silver screens on the front. And then just above the cab, just up top, just here, this is where the double bed is, but I'll pull it down just slightly so you can have a quick peek. So that's the double bed up there. Now that does come all the way down, and let me just show you a quick image of that actually whilst it's down. There we go, look, I've pulled it down for you. You've got nice lights up on the top there, you can turn those on and off of an evening, and it's really cosy, I have to say. You've got curtains that go across, and it's quite easy just to hop up there, so that's a really nice size double bed, and it just tucks away. The great thing about this is you can obviously leave this part made up. So you can leave your quilt on there and just push it up to the roof whilst you're traveling. And then of an evening, just drop it down. But of course we have got more beds on board, which I'll show you in a second. 
Right, so not only does this vehicle sleep for, but it also travels for as well. So you've got two forward facing seats here, both with three point harnesses. So you can take your friends and relatives with you. And this table does move in all directions. So you can control that really nicely. Just round to the left, if I can just swing the camera around now, this is the kitchen area. Just next to the kitchen area, you've got all the lights. So you can turn all the lights on and off here. And also you've got your control for your step, which I showed you earlier. Also, you have a three pin plug just out at the bottom there. One thing I will say about Carthago is that everything feels really, really high quality. It's a very luxurious brand. Um, also, they're quite simple to use. So this is your control panel where you turn your lights on and off, your pump and all that sort of thing. And it comes with a Truma blown air system, which will also work from gas and electricity. Down in the kitchen, let's have a look. So this has got three gas burners, a nice sink for washing all the dishes or prepping your food and stuff like that and then just below we've got a pretty decent size oven as well actually inside the cupboards up top here we've got a coffee machine look at this a little coffee machine that comes with this particular van and also lots and lots of um, space for storing items here as well now just beneath all of this obviously you've got the oven and beneath that you've got a drawer uh, that looks quite handy actually you could keep a little bin in there or something it's very handy um, in here we've got some drawers another one there really nice size so you're not going to struggle for storage space in this and the one thing to point out actually is you have to remember this fan is only well it's around 2.1 meters in width so it's only really the size of a standard van conversion um, but you've got blackout blinds mosquito nets on all the windows again another three pin plug here now this little tray here is quite clever actually you can use it as somewhere to rest things when you're doing the dishes or actually it doubles up and goes inside the sink there so you've got more work surface there if needed just at the back of the vehicle uh, again another light switch here but look at this let me just show you this so you pull that out there we go look we've got a flat screen tv so you can sit in the driver's seat in the passenger seat uh, or even the little seat to the side actually and sit and watch that television so that's in a nice location in fact you could even watch that in bed couldn't you just up top more cupboard space and again your light switches here and then moving towards the back let me just close this a second you've got your fridge and your freezer really cool fridge actually you can open it both sides so one side if you're in the living area another side if you're in the bedroom and obviously that's got a freezer box in there as well at the back excuse this it's all it's still in its wrappers because obviously it is brand new but you've got two single beds so single beds either side or if you like you can pull this out just here let's have a look pull that out and there's an infant fill cushion that goes there and that turns that into a big double bed and the cushions just at the back there look it's a great great design Every time I go into a Katago, I'm always impressed, I have to say. Right, just to the left underneath the bed here. Let's open this cupboard to see what we've got in here. One second, if I can open it. We've got a nice size wardrobe, so you can hang your clothes and things in there. And this does move. So if you wanted to, you can move that shelf out the way so you've just got hanging space. And also, if you want to gain access to that, you can lift this up and just go in from the top. Uh, the same with the other side, actually. You can lift that up and gain access to the wardrobe in there or open the cupboard. But that's a huge space in there. Look at that. But yeah, I mean, check this out. It's so, so good looking, this van, I have to say. It's hard to probably see on the video how nice and the quality that you have here. Everything on this is really well made. Uh, even the roof line, and it's got a mic, like a sort of uh, microfiber roof, which actually keeps in the temperature and stops it being echoey and things like that in here. So it's very, very uh, well made. Just up top here, we've got cupboard space. So let's have a look in here. Another one, and then another one just here. So plenty of storage. 
And like I say, this is no sort of wider than a standard van conversion, yet you've got all this storage and all this luxury. It's, it's really amazing. Coming from the bedroom into the toilet and shower. So this is the entrance to the toilet. Open the door there. It's very clever actually, because you can completely block that area off. So if you're either getting changed or you're in the toilet or shower, you can completely shut that side off. So it's very private. This is the toilet and shower really modern uh nice led lights on the mirrors uh you have got storage space in here as well so little cupboard space here another one in there and nice wooden top toilet look at this very posh now this shower has a little secret <laughs> uh, let me show you so this doubles up as the shower head so at the moment it's in the tap position so you can use it obviously to wash your hands but that does pull out and goes up onto the shower uh, point just up here so that will clip onto there now what you do is you move this shower head around and what you can then do is check this out you can move that round so it completely ooh, let me just close that so that completely shuts off. If you're worried about the toilet getting wet, you pull that down and then you've got a separate shower cubicle. Look at that. It's amazing and it's such high quality. But then lift that back up again, fold that round and then you're back to the washroom. Obviously this has got a shower door that goes all the way around as well to stop the water coming in here, um, but it's great lovely lovely feature so my favorite brand at the moment Katago uh, they always always make a high quality vehicle you pay a little bit more for them but the luxury is way higher um, just to let you know as well this van it has got the blown air heating system uh, but what that actually does with this vehicle is it blows underneath the floor so it's got uh, a sort of heated floor feeling so it's going to be nice and toasty on your feet um, also the particular van that i'm showing you today has got the basic plus package uh, the media package um, which obviously is the television and things like that uh, reversing camera it has got the 160 brake horsepower fully automatic fiat Ducato chassis so that's really sought after actually uh, the scooter garage at the back and there's loads and loads on it. I mean, I could sit in here and go on about this vehicle all day, but I just wanted to give you a quick tour of it just so you could get an idea of the space and the feel of it. Just to run through some of the dimensions again for you, uh, the length of this vehicle is actually 6670, so less than 6.7 metres. And the width is 2120, so around 2.1 metres in width. So it's really nice and compact. Um, it's quite tall inside so the standing height in the living area is 1980 so around two meters so you can stand up nice and easily in here as well there's so many features and benefits of this vehicle i could go on and on and on forever um, and i really hope you like this demonstration uh, but i just wanted like i say just give you a quick tour of it um, if you like these tours and you want to see more um, or you want some uh, information about the vehicle that I'm in today, then do pop a comment below. Uh, if you've got questions, queries, anything like that, just pop a comment or even if you just like the video, pop a comment. Uh, also, leave a thumbs up. Uh, that helps me get the videos going. And most importantly, what I'm trying to do at the moment is get subscribers. Um, I think I've got about 800 at the moment. I'm quite a new channel, but I am wanting more. Uh, obviously, the more subscribers that I get, the more people this will be, um, the video will be given out to in the algorithm for YouTube. So please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, my face will be popping up around here somewhere. Uh, if you just click that, it's free. Uh, just subscribe to the channel and it just means you'll get updates of the video demonstrations as and when I post them. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, guys. Like I say, my name's Jonathan and hopefully I'll see you on the next video.